Hey everyone, welcome back to Ragtag Stacking. On today's video, I want to talk a little bit about everyone's favorite topic, inflation. Uh, but specifically, I want to talk about a certain country who uh, showed their annual number here, and uh, it was through the roof. Now, I'll get to the country in a second, but uh, the rate itself was 54%. It actually went up 54%, and it wasn't an all-time high. This is only the highest it's been in 20 years. You know, it hasn't uh, reached that all-time high for this one, but 54% is where it's at. And this kind of leads to an example that I did uh, from another video that I made. It was talking about why silver and gold haven't kept up with inflation. And it's kind of these reasons here. We usually expect the uh, gold and silver to react the opposite of what the dollar is doing. You know, weak dollar, higher precious metals you expect. A strong dollar, precious metals usually going down. And we have seen that the U.S. dollar is, you know, getting, you know, I think it was like a four-decade high inflation rate that I've seen, I saw was the last. Uh, the last report there so the dollar it isn't doing well you know the inflation is up and all that but we haven't really seen the metals moving with it and that's because uh, you know the dollar is relatively strong still when you're comparing it to some other countries weaker currencies so when you see other currencies trading against the dollar you know it would make sense for people to be going with the uh, the US dollar if it is you know even though it's not you know doing well it's doing much better than their currency so I guess two things can be happening at the exact same time. Uh, the U.S. dollar can be inflated to a 40-year high, but on the world stage, it can still be a strong currency, which isn't helping the metals because when you know you're doing the forex and the currency trading, the dollar is still, like I said, still strong compared to some of the other ones that are experiencing, you know, much worse inflation, or you know their their currency wasn't in great shape before. Uh, you know, 2020 and all the stuff that we saw, uh, you know, it wasn't doing great shape then. And since the, the whole world kind of got thrown topsy-turvy uh, two years ago, things haven't gotten better. But I do like referring back to that video. I will leave a link in the description to it. I left a card up top so you, if you want to watch that video. Because, um, you know, I was kind of interested as to why silver and gold weren't moving with inflation. But that article kind of did a, a pretty good job explaining it. But anyways, moving on to today's topic, I do want to jump on the computer to show you this article here. And uh, yeah, it kind of goes over the, uh, the crazy inflation that's going on here. All right, so this is the article here. It's on Reuters, and uh, the uh, title is Turkey's Inflation Surges to 54% Highest in 20 Years. Now, that's surprising. <laughs> you know, 54% seems really, really, I think that would be an all-time high, but it's only the highest in 40, in 20 years. So that's, uh, that's quite alarming. Uh, let's see here. It says, um, uh, Turkey's annual inflation jumped more than expected uh, to a two-decade high of 54.4% in February, fueled by a crash in the lira last year and soaring uh, commodity prices that are expected to climb higher due to uh, Russia's invasion of Ukraine. And that's another thing that keeps surprising me whenever I see uh, any news about Turkey is that they're using the lira. I didn't think that the lira was still in use. Uh, you know, I knew it was uh, in Italy, but I, I don't even think they're using the lira. I think they've moved over to the, uh, to the euro as well. So I was just surprised every time I see that they are using the lira. So then it goes down here, they were expecting a certain number for February, and uh, it rose up uh, a whole percentage point from where they expected it to be. It was forecasted to be 3.8, and an annual forecast of 53%, but in February it rose 4.8%, so uh, that gave it the 54.4% uh, for the two-decade high. So it says inflation has soared in the last nine months as Turkey's central bank, under pressure from President uh, Tiep Erdogan. I've heard the last name said, er Erdogan, but I haven't really seen the first name uh, mentioned too much or heard the first name uh, pronounced, uh, slashed interest rates by 500 basis points last year. It, ex it is expected to rise further, exacerbated by a surge in uh, gas, oil, and grain prices set off by the Ukrainian conflict. That was one big thing. Obviously, you hear about gas and oil, grain. Grain was another big thing that I heard was uh, going to be affected by the conflict in uh, Russia, Ukraine, because that area, I guess, you know, produces quite a bit of grain there. This is the easing cycle led to a currency crisis that saw the lira fall 44% against the dollar last year, rising inflation via imports uh, priced in hard currencies. 
And going down a little further here, it says last month's inflation was driven by food and non-alcoholic drink prices, which rose 8.41% month on month, while furniture rose 7.7%, further eroding household savings. And this one was crazy here, looking at the annual numbers, the annual numbers for transportation, uh, it surged to 76%. And uh, where is it? Uh, furniture rose 65% for the, uh, for the year, the annual rate. So this is a quote from Jason Tuve, senior uh, was it EM economist at uh, Capital Economics. It says the spillover effects from the Russia-Ukraine cri uh, crisis, including higher global commodity prices and potentially fresh supply chain disruptions, uh, mean that risks are skewed to the upside. So I did skip over quite a bit of the article. I will leave a link in the description if you want to read through the entire thing, but it kind of just touched on uh, the, the basic stuff that I wanted to talk about, the huge uh, uh, rate of inflation uh, has reached a 20-year high there but so they do foresee that it's going to continue to get worse uh, throughout the year but they do see a peak and it says central banks uh, said in January it expects inflation to peak around May when it's seen uh, rising to around 55 percent but Russia's invasion has raised the prospect of even higher inflation so yeah with all that stuff going on in that uh, general area of uh, the world in that region uh, I don't see things uh, the tensions easing anytime soon so that uh, so their prediction of uh, May being the peak and then kind of I don't know tapering down that might uh, not be the case uh, the inflation might still uh, continue to grow and continue on an upward trend uh, past May if, uh, you know, we continue to see all the stuff that's uh, been going on in Europe. That was a quick little article. I did touch on all the things that I wanted to uh, to mention from this article. Uh, but if you do want to go over and read the entire thing, um, I'd say I did skip a, a little bit of it. So yeah, if you did want to read the entire thing, uh, I always leave a link to the articles that I talk about. Uh, I always leave a link to them in the description of the video. So yeah, that was the video. That was the article that I wanted to show you there. And uh, yeah, it was just uh, pretty insane seeing the 54% uh, the there for the, uh, the inflation on the lira in Turkey. And they had projected May would be the peak of this inflation, but uh, that estimate was made before uh, you know things escalated with uh, Russia and Ukraine. So with that whole thing going on, that, uh, that prediction of May, uh, it may not be uh, correct. So things could potentially uh, be getting worse in Turkey. So I hope not. I hope things kind of uh, stabilize there. But uh, yeah, there there is a possibility that things could get uh, could get a lot worse in that area. But I'd like to know what you guys uh, think. I'd like to hear if you think uh, you know 54% inflation is uh, right around the corner for uh, North America. I know I do live up in Canada, so I have been primarily talking just about uh, the U.S. But uh, Canada is no better. Higher inflation rates are at, uh, you know, decades high as well. So it is affecting the world. And it is affecting uh, stackers for the, the people that want the, uh, the metals to keep up with the inflation rates uh, that the dollar is experiencing. But uh, like I mentioned with that, uh, that one article, uh, the, uh, the U.S. dollar is still <laughs> relatively strong on the world stage. But that might not last forever. So, uh, you know, you always have to be prepared. And, you know, stacking is a long term game. But anyways, like I said, that was just uh, an article that I came across and I thought it was uh, pretty interesting to see, uh, you know, what exactly has been going on uh, in Turkey and just how bad their inflation rate is with the, uh, the lira. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and uh, I hope you come back for the next one. Thank you.